Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Now, as many of you know, uh, Wizards of the Coast has decided to sell directly Magic the Gathering products on Amazon. And uh, that that's kind of got the community in an uproar here, especially all the LGSs, also known as local game stores. I mean, how is that going to impact them? And we're going to break all this down and, and, and cover this topic in full here. Uh, but first, I want you guys to know a little bit about who Mark Rosewater is. He's going to give his, uh, he's going to voice himself uh, on the whole topic as well. And we're going to cover that. But first, who's Mark Rosewater? Well, Mark Rosewater is the lead designer of Magic the Gathering. For those of you who don't know this, he's been since 2003. He's a big deal. Anytime the community's in an uproar, Mark Rosewater seems to be, he'll make an appearance. He'll, he'll, he'll voice his thoughts. He'll address the community and uh, what's going on. And uh, he's a big deal, huge deal. He's appeared uh, as the lead designer in Tempest, Urza's Destiny, Odyssey, Marauder. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. He was an artist for, uh, for Wizards, uh, I believe still is. And uh, he, he's even been credited for uh, two Roseanne episodes. Little did I know. <laughs> he was uh, a, a writer on the staff there. Amazing. Just a little bit about Mark Rosewater. Now, let's get into some other stuff here. Let's get into Amazon and Magic the Gathering. So, Wizards has decided... They're going to sell Magic the Gathering direct now to Amazon. Um, as you guys know, selling stuff online, this is nothing new. Every company who wants to stay relevant, they have to sell online. But with them selling direct now to Amazon, many people feel this is cutting out the LGS, which I guess you could say it is. So now instead of going directly into your local game store and purchasing, you know, uh, a booster box for, for 90 to $110, depending, you know, where you're living and whatnot. Um, you can just simply go and order it online. Uh, the thing with this is it's kind of always been a thing. Um, it, it really has been, uh, I mean, I've been purchasing stuff off eBay, uh, TCG player, channel fireball, Star City Games. I mean, the list kind of just goes on. I've always purchased online. But when you're purchasing from those those individuals, nine times out of ten, you are purchasing from a local game store. They're just taking their business and going online with it to get rid of additional products. That's kind of just how it is. But now with Amazon being uh, 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 Amazon's huge. I mean, they're as big as eBay, if not larger. And for them now, for Wizards to sell directly on Amazon, what does that mean for the local game store? I honestly don't think people are less likely to go into their local game store because Wizards is selling direct onto Amazon. I don't think that's a problem here. If Wizards decides to sell for less than what the rest of the competition is, is, is selling it for, then that's going to create a problem because a lot of people, even if they love their LGS, they also love their wallet, right? We all love money. That's, that's the world we live in, unfortunately. So if you can go and purchase this just for dirt cheap, in comparison, 95 to 110 bucks at your local game store. Amazon Direct, let's say they're selling it for 90 bucks. Okay. Let's say all the local game stores who are selling on Amazon or on your Walmart or you know on your eBay, TCG player, whatever the case may be, let's say they're selling it for $92, $93. I'd say nine times out of ten people are going to be more opted to buy from Wizards Direct through Amazon because it's cheaper. I think that's one of the major problems with them doing this is. 
Now let's move into what what was asked and what was said. This is Mark Rosewater. Uh, the question was asked by Lazav Loyal Salensian. He asked, why did Wizards attack local game stores again with this seemingly greedy Amazon deal? That is what he asked Mark Rosewater. Mark Rosewater goes on to say, I believe that's an unfair narrative. Let me explain. For starters, local game stores are an important part of the Magic ecosystem, and we do a lot to support them. We have an extensive organized play system. We make exclusive products, and we do things like the Buy a Box promotion, all to encourage players to go to their LGS. But part of being player-centric is supporting the players where and how they want to play, and that extends beyond the LGS. He's got a lot of very, very, very good points. And one of these points he's about to make is a point I addressed in my live stream uh, on Saturday. For example, not everyone can play at an LGS. This is very true. Some don't live near one. I have heard this personally from hundreds of people um, on this channel that they just don't live near one or they even don't live near a Walmart. Uh, and, and that's not too hard to fathom, guys. I mean, we live in a pretty large world, and not every square inch is covered by local game stores and big box stores. So they find it difficult to get their hands on Magic the Gathering. Others don't have the transportation to get to one. Some don't have a schedule that coincides with when the events are played. Still, others simply aren't aware of the local game store's existence. That's another thing. Um, I, I mean, I grew up in local game stores, though. I knew of local game store's existence because I lived right by, like, ten of them. And it's sad to say, but as I, uh, I'm now a bit older, and I gotta tell you, I think two of the ten that were in the area are still around. And, you know, that says a lot. Uh, about what's happened here. Um, on a different vector, some players don't want to play at an LGS. They might feel uncomfortable at one. They might have limitations that make playing at a local game store difficult. That as well. The way they like to play might be more conductive to a different environment. While a local game store is a, is a good fit for many players, it's not necessarily appropriate for all players. That is very true. Um, I, I know in, in some local game stores, um, it, it can be difficult to access or you might not want to even be in them. I've never personally had any poor experiences with local game stores. I, I never went in and anyone was really rude to me or anything like that. But I have heard some pretty bad stories from other people where you know it, it was not a good experience for them. Um, also, people might feel uncomfortable at one. This is true. This is very true. Uh, I myself have felt uncomfortable playing at local game stores. Only because I, I do suffer from social anxiety. A lot of you might be like, yeah, right, Joey Moss. This is true. I have suffered from social anxiety for many years. Mostly since my head injury I had. We'll get into that, into that another time. But it kind of makes me a little socially awkward when I'm out and about. And I don't necessarily want to engage with people. That's, that's just how it is. So I understand that point as well. Um, our goal is to make magic accessible to everyone. And that means not limiting the game to only those able and willing to play at an LGS. An important part of reaching this group is the internet as that is the preferred way for many of them to access things. Absolutely. Um, one more top. I want to go over that one more time here. Um, not limiting the game to only those able and willing to play it in LGS. I would have to say the majority of people who play Magic the Gathering, uh, they play it casually. They, they play at their kitchen table. They, they meet up with friends at their house and play the game. I mean, let's face facts. That is... That is a lot. Uh, that is, I'd say, the bulk of how the game is played. Probably 90% of uh, people playing the game, that is how they play the game. I mean, I just made that percentage up, but I'd say it's very high. Um, I know this is a complex topic, 
with a lot of nuance. But I think it's important not to see any action to reach other players as inherently a move against the local game stores. I firmly believe the more people we bring into the game, the better it is for everyone within the Magic ecosystem, local game stores included. And if you want to see the enemy, it's not Wizards of the Coast, all right? Uh, the enemy is games like this, like Hearthstone. I mean, why do you think Magic the Gathering Arena exists? One, I think Magic the Gathering Arena, Wizards was way behind on releasing an online game that's playable and just like full of lights and color and fun. I, I, I think that's one thing that they were just late to the game on. And with a game like Hearthstone, that is the real enemy, if you want one. I mean, or competitor, really, with, uh, with Magic the Gathering right now. It's these online games that kids can just pick up, get on their tablet, and just start playing. I think that's another thing I'm not too happy with uh, about Magic the Gathering Arena. Especially it's not on iOS, and it's not on your handheld devices. I think they need to do something about that. But let's not stray too far off topic. One point he made here I, I truly like, and I, some of you may disagree with it, um, but that is, I firmly believe the more people we bring into the game, the better it is for everyone within the Magic ecosystem. I love that. I, I, I can't agree more with that. The more, I think, exposure this game has, I think the better for its chances of survival. The absolute last thing I want is for local game stores to disappear. Growing up, that I have so many memories of going into local game stores. The kid who taught me how to play Magic the Gathering every weekend for, for about a year straight, that's what we did. We would hit up the local game store from shoveling uh, uh, driveways you know, of snow to raking leaves, uh, to mowing people's lawns, pulling weeds, whatever we had to do to earn money when we were like 12 years old. I remember working in a, a, a kitchen when I was 13 under the table every Friday night and, and just to earn money so I can go to the game store early Saturday morning and pick up some magic cards. So, I mean, this, this, this impacts me as well, like hugely. Um, I don't want to see them go anywhere. And I, I, I don't think you guys want them to go anywhere either. So make sure... You just get out and, and support your local game store. If you have one near you, if you can. Or, you know, if you go online, purchase from a local game store. Check them out. You don't have to go to Amazon. If it's an extra two bucks, two, three bucks to buy a booster box, do it. Go that way, man. All right? Um, in, in the long run, you, you, might be, you might be saving one of these shops from closing up. Uh, and and if, you enjoy, if you enjoy playing the game, period. Get your butt in there. Get your butt in there, man. Because uh, if these game stores close down, I'll be one pissed off guy. Because, man, I, I, I have too many fond memories growing up. Even with my dad going into the old football card stores. They're all closed up. Collector's Warehouse in Parma. I used to love going there. Uh, the Coin and Stamp closed. I mean, they're all, so many are just closed. They don't exist anymore. Because the well dried up and, and, and people just moved on from it. Or they went online. So let's let's not see that happen, all right? Let's unite. Let's unite, all right? Let's all unite as one. Uh, and and uh, let's have fun with this game and keep it going, keep it live and strong. All right, guys, I'm done with my rants here. Uh, as always, PLA.